By embedding specialized nanoparticles into the leaves of watercress plants, MIT engineers have been able to induce the plants to give off a dim light for nearly four hours. And they believe that with further optimization, such plants will one day be bright enough to illuminate an entire workspace. Imagine that instead of switching on a lamp when it gets dark, you could read by the light of a glowing plant on your desk. To create their glowing plants, the MIT team turned to luciferase, the enzyme that gives fireflies their glow. Luciferase acts on a molecule called luciferin, causing it to emit light. Another molecule called coenzyme A helps the process along by removing a reaction byproduct that can inhibit luciferase activity. The MIT team packaged each of these three components into nanoparticle carriers of varying size to help each component get to the right part of the plant. To get the particles into the plant leaves, the researchers first suspended the particles into a solution. Then, plants were immersed in the solution and exposed to high pressure, allowing the particles to enter the leaves through tiny pores called stomata. Once in the leaves, the particles gradually release luciferin, which then enters the plant cells, where the luciferase performs the chemical reaction that makes luciferin glow. Previous efforts to create light-emitting plants have relied on genetically engineering plants to express the gene for luciferase, but this is a laborious process that yields extremely dim light and often limited to one type of plant. The new method, developed at MIT, could be used on any type of plant. So far, they have demonstrated it with arugula, kale, spinach, and watercress. In the future, the researchers say this technology could be used to provide low-intensity indoor lighting or transform trees into self-powered streetlights.